1975, bustling center of administration in the European community. But more than 30 years ago, this was a different city, a city ringing to the sound of the jackboot, a city ravaged by war, humiliated by Nazi occupation. Liberation was just a dream, and emotions ran high. Emotions that made one single Belgian fighter pilot risk his life to take some kind of personal revenge against the Nazis. The pilot had been flying a typhoon, attacking German trains in Flanders. His fuel was low, and he must return to his English airfield soon. But in a moment of patriotism, he turned, not for England, but for Brussels. He flew right over the city centre and lined himself up here on the Avenue Louise, a road stretching for two miles. He came down to rooftop height and flew straight down the road with one target in mind, the Gestapo headquarters. He began firing at a rate of 650 shells a minute straight into the headquarters building and pulled away just in time as the last of 30 top Gestapo officers fell dead or injured. Today the building still stands as a plaque records the Belgian pilot's remarkable escapade. Ironically, he lost a strike for failing to return to base when he should have done. But at the same time, he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for his action. But what's so special about that Belgian pilot, Jean de Selys, was that he was a member of an exclusively Yorkshire squadron, 609 West Riding Squadron, which during the war became the most international Royal Air Force squadron flying out of Britain. Now the surviving members of that squadron, 609, have returned to Belgium to be reunited with their Belgian comrades and pay tribute to the 104 pilots they lost during the war. Their sortie today is less hazardous. The Yorkshiremen arrived by coach, older by 30 years or more, but still closely tied to their Belgian counterparts who fought alongside them. In the war, they shot down 232 German aircraft between them and claimed the honour 35 years ago this year of being the first Spitfire squadron to shoot down 100 German planes. The squadron was a volunteer force formed at Eden Airport near Leeds in 1936. It lived for 21 years before disbandment in 1957, but the nostalgia for those years of glory is as strong as ever. Today, a special wreath laying ceremony at the Air Force Monument in Brussels. I said, I don't know what you do, but I've never hit. 
And of course, they all acknowledge throughout the previous last world. And the following day, I was shot down three times. And my worst moment is when I realized it was dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, at that time, I didn't want to fly. I tried the wing coat, wing commander thing, to take the shoot because I was scared. And I went to the wing commander and proposed to shoot to him. And he knew, you can have it, you know, as if he was making a favor to me. <laughs> <laughs> what was your personal thought? <laughs> Six-oh-nine's place in Belgian wartime history never goes forgotten. So much so that they have been reserved a special place at the International Air Show of Military Aircraft at Florent in southern Belgium. While modern and obsolete aircraft of the German and Belgian Air Forces stand out on the tarmac, 609 Squadron's display is tucked away inside a hangar, paying tribute to their aircraft and the men who flew them. <laughs> aircraft like the Hawker Hart, the Hind, the Spitfire, the Tank and Train Buster, the Typhoon, the Hurricane, and this model of the actual Typhoon flown by Wing Commander Roly Beaumont. His Typhoon claimed five aircraft and 20 trains. Beaumont himself was commanding officer of 609 Squadron at the age of 23, and he later became test pilot for Canberra's Lightnings and the TSR-2. This is Bruce Owens. He's on the squadron in about 1942 43 He got wounded with the squadron. And Flight Lieutenant Dundas, who shot down 14 German aircraft, he was one of the squadron's aces. His most famous victory was when he shot down the German pilot Helmut Wieck the glamour boy of the Luftwaffe, who claimed to have shot down 50 Allied planes. But two minutes after shooting Wieck down, Dundas himself died, hit by a German messenger. Uh, this is Andrew Howell. He, he was said he'll shot down our Honda's Jerry aircraft, October 21st, 1940. Oh, that was Frankie Howell. He left the squadron. He was on the British and Wales when it was bombed by the Jap. They went down with it, was rescued by the Jap. Went into the bag and through the war. And came out after the war. Came back to the RAF and he was killed in a prompt off an aircraft landing. Most important for him, like that. 